Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Uh, this is for your sun, moon, uh, rising, or Venus. Also too for the cross watchers, if you're watching it and it may come across as your side versus their side, it just all depends on your guys' situation. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. And uh, with that being said, Libra, let's go ahead and uh, hop into your reading. Oh, really fast, before I forget, just so you know, we're going over uh, your overall energy for uh, the next couple of weeks. What is your situation regarding love? What's causing this situation? Your hopes and your fears. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a peek at what's going on. For Libra. Overall message. Love. Okay. Oh, so this is kind of cool. So it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. You guys probably do because you guys are always on top of everything. But there is a new moon in Libra in Aries season, and it's at zero degrees. So this definitely is some type of new beginning. Okay. What's the current situation for Libra when it comes to love and romance? Okay, Seven of Wands. What's causing this situation for Libra? Okay, Three of Pentacles. Possibly dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. What's Libra's um, hopes or fears with the situation to tell you to live? Okay, Five of Wands. Maybe dealing with a Leo. And let's see, where's my other cards? All right, and then I'm gonna pull uh, the overall outcome with the um, Romance Angel cards. I just feel like it gives it kind of like a new look at things, okay? All right, what's the overall outcome for this next two weeks for Libra? Okay, reconciliation. I think that that's fantastic, and let me tell you why. Because obviously, there's some type of fuckery that's going on. I feel like that's pretty clear for you guys with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. Um, whose side is it on? I'm not sure right now. I mean, I really do feel like we're about to find out. But I do feel like, um, you know, there's a level of an unknown here. Okay, maybe with a Pisces, maybe with a Taurus, or somebody that has Taurus in their chart, or possibly a Cancer, or maybe you have Cancer in your chart. Um, there's definitely some type of feelings that have been repressed, I feel like, and um, it's definitely a time where I feel like you're going more so internal and you're not showing things, or you're pretending that something is one way when it's actually a different way, and it, and it may have to do with money, or what to invest in, or, you know, um, something pertaining to, you know, a level of stability that comes, you know, after this five of wands, and that stability, you know, happens because, um, you know, it's just relief from whatever, you know, arguments you may have had with your partner or any type of decisions, but there is something definitely here with what you're not seeing, and this could either be something your partner's not expressed to you, or uh, you've not expressed it, expressed to your partner about investing, and maybe that's investing in your guys' relationship, okay? So, let's go ahead and take a look at your moon card. Now, I think that this is fantastic, the fact that you have a new moon in Aries, because there's some type of like fire that's lit under your ass, right? And this is all about a new start, and this is also about letting you guys know that you're on the right path, um, and it, this is a very positive sign that if you want something to happen, you have the ability, you know, to make it happen. This card is like a big, like, yes from the universe. Um, but it's really time to tune in to uh, your dreams. And also, too, it's about, you know, um, being brave and being determined. And if there's something that needs to be said with your partner, you know, you have to be able to see it or say it, but in a manner that um, isn't too fast or isn't too aggressive. And you also have to understand that you need to treat others how you want to be treated, right? Because 
If you do, you'll create a much better karma for yourself and a lot less turmoil. Um, also too, this card is telling you that not to give up. So if there's some type of relationship that, you know, you guys have been going back and forth about, it's just don't give up. There's something, you know, there's something very substantial here. Also, you know, you need to do your best and be happy with that. So if you're doing everything you can do, you know, it is what it is, right? But this card is telling you a lot is coming to you. That's good. You just need to be very careful with your words and what's being said. If you're too brash right now, it's just not going to work for you. Also, too, uh, for those um, women Libra or women Libras, uh, this is also a great possibility that um, a new male is coming into your life. Okay? So it's pretty dope because think about it. Um, especially with the new moon in Aries, this is the first of like 12 or 13 new moons all year long. So, you know, this, you know, definitely signifies that it's an ideal time to, you know, set your intentions, especially when it comes to love, okay? Which I think is really beautiful for you guys. And think about it, it's a full moon in Libra, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Why is this a situation? Or, well, I guess this is a situation, but can you tell me a little bit more about the Seven of Swords? Okay, Three of Swords, definitely a hurtful situation. Why? Why does Libra feel uh, hurt? The Emperor, okay, possibly dealing with an Aries um, or a Libra. This is Libra, but I feel like uh, Three of Swords is uh, Saturn in Libra, but I feel like this is how you guys feel. You guys feel like, you know, your heart's being ripped out of your chest. Um, I definitely feel like whatever type of growth is going on, you guys are somewhat stopping it. Um, and it's just really not, not, not too healthy. However, th these multiple threes, I do feel like that's important um, because this is all about growth, but growing in the proper way, right? Now, there's some type of decision that's made or somebody's making a decision where you feel like you no longer have control over it. Um, I definitely feel that strongly with this emperor here and it, maybe it's an Aries possibly over kids, okay, six of cups, or it's over a past situation, maybe you're reliving something that's pertaining to, you know, uh, either your childhood or, you know, your current situation. Um, how, does, how does Libra feel about this six of cups? The three of wands, okay, you're waiting for it. One more, how does Libra feel about it? King of cups, okay. So, um, the fact that you feel a king of cups about it, definitely you could be dealing with any of the water signs, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. You know, maybe there's words that were said by you, okay, especially with the seven of swords here, that left somebody maybe hurt, you know, and I feel like when you said something, it also hurt yourself, but... For whatever reason, there's some type of decision that's made that you've been waiting for and it's pertaining about a past situation or kids. And I feel like once everything's said and done here, Libra, I do think that you're okay with it and you're ready to move on in a positive light. Am I right? Yeah, it's just there has to be some type of ending to this Seven of Swords. Because let's begin with death. The King of Wands, okay? Um... So you guys definitely could be dealing with um, a Leo, Sag, or uh, Aries here, right? By ending whatever type of situation. Now, if you're in a bad situation and you guys are ending something, like let's say you're ending it because of whatever reason, things are just not working out with you and your partner and you're ending it, you are now coming into a better state with this King of Wands, which is a new energy. And it's probably somebody from your past. Okay, or it could be multiple people, King of Wands, uh, King of Cups, okay? There's two kings here, all right? Why is this situation being caused? Okay. Five of Wands. I feel like you guys had an argument about what works for you, what, uh, what the potential is, right? Like, what's the logic behind it? How do we physically make it work? You know, it, it's all about, you know, the fine details, I feel like. That, that caused this argument, five of wands. Yeah, because I said, am I right? 
Nyx of Seven of Swords, which is back up here. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely think, you know, you have the Five of Wands twice, the Five of Swords twice. I feel like, you know, something just stopped working or you found out some type of information that it just... Working out the kinks or working out the details of it, it just wasn't making sense to you. And I feel like that caused an argument between you and your person, all right? And it caused that Seven of Swords moment. Because how does Libra's person of interest feel about this? Okay. They could be pregnant or you're pregnant, maybe. Maybe you're bringing this up saying like, hey, I'm pregnant. This is Libra or Taurus. Um, or, you know, if it is a situation pertaining kids, maybe it's also because this is three, this has to be, you know, deal with growth. So whether that's, you know, growth of a life, whether that's growth of an idea or a partnership, there's some type of building here. And, you know, there's an argument with how to build your guys' structure. Okay. Now, if you're single, I feel like you guys, th there's something that's being said here with, with somebody that you were interested in and now you're moving past that and you're ending all that shit and you're coming to a new understanding and I do feel like you have more than one suitor here. And they're both very, very strong. Now, depending on what their sign is, you know, it can be either or, or they have this in their chart, okay? Why is Libra worried about the Five of Wands? The Four of Cups. I feel like you're worried about being alone. Um, I feel like, you know, if you're in some type of conflict with somebody that you care about, it's like you're worried that this fight is ultimately going to leave you alone. Possibly a Cancer Moon. You have a Cancer Moon or your partner does. Um, you know, it's like you're really, really in your head about your foundation. And like I said, the practicality of it, does it work? Does it not work? But it's also you keeping your emotions inside and maybe things aren't how they appear, right? Maybe you're looking at something in a negative fashion when it really is a positive one. Okay, can you give me a little bit more information on this five of wands here for Libra? Knight of Cups, okay? Like I said, maybe this has to do with a water sign. You're worried that this water sign is going to leave you out or you're going to leave them out. There's no more love here, right? There's something to do with this because how does Libra feel about this, okay? Ten of Pentacles. So this is how you feel about that water sign. This is Ten of Pentacles, okay? So again, clearly, you know, I feel like you want some type of forward movement, but this argument, you're scared to have that argument and be left alone because then you're stuck without your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Possibly a Virgo. Um, this person, whoever you're dealing with, is very intelligent. They definitely overthink whatever they're doing. However, they're very financially like sound. They're very financially grounded. And it's like they, they have everything that they want to offer you, but it just has to do with you, Libra, especially during this Aries time. You need to keep your words in check, definitely. Or else you're going to end up you know, by you not, like, let's say, like, you're too brash, right? You end up creating the Seven of Swords, and then there's some type of ending here. And it's not one that you like, you know, or there's an ending here to this Seven of Swords, and now you guys are moving to the Six of Cups with the King of Wands, you know, or the King of Cups, you know, because there's an ending, and now there's a different part of your relationship that's building, okay? Whether that has to do with kids or not, that's definitely something that's going around here. Just be careful with, you know, the immaturity level, okay? Also, too, you have the Three of Cups with the Lovers. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer. Um, if you're dealing with more than one party, you know, that person definitely already knows about it and you need to cut the shit. Whatever is happening here with death, there's definitely something coming around. Who the reconciliation is with, I'm not sure. For those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, thank you so much. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.